Hello everyone and welcome back to the Crypto Spartan YouTube channel where I'll be diving into another detailed crypto analysis. Following the consistently positive community feedback and continuously impressive progression of the project, Cloudbrick is once again taking the spotlight for a third and final special installment. Cloudbrick is unleashing a disruptive whirlwind on the outdated cybersecurity industry through the creation of their next generation universal cybersecurity solution. A plethora of innovative features makes their solution truly revolutionary on several fronts, not least of which their machine learning powered ecosystem of security solutions and their refreshingly mutually beneficial community centered operational mechanism. For an overall analysis and review of Cloudbrick, please see my first video on the project. I also conduct a deep dive into an analytical exploration of the future of cybersecurity and the place of Cloudbrick within this uncertain digital landscape in my follow up analysis. I'll leave a link to both in the description in case you haven't seen these previous installments already. Following my previous analysis, this is an overall report on the background of Cloudbrick as a company and an account of the remarkable progress made by the team during their ICO period so far. Before we jump in, standard disclaimer, this is not financial advice in any form, it is my opinion and insight based on research and you should always do your own research before committing to anything financially whatsoever. I'm an academic and entrepreneur specialising in crypto investments mainly and I do a lot of research for my own use, the most interesting of which I like to share with you guys. As usual, I will be scrolling through some of the resources from the team, such as the website and white paper, in order to show you how they present their project and vision, and so you can see where to look for more information on specific aspects of the project. On this occasion, I will also be using some self-created graphics to illustrate the team's progression, and will be displaying a range of outside references used to compile the report. For the purposes of this report, we will be analysing Cloudbrick's company and ICO progress using the following logical structure. An analysis of Cloudbrick company background, their decision to launch a reverse ICO, the Cloudbrick advisory board, blockchain events and conferences attended by the team, partnerships attained, token sale progress to date, and finally an overall verdict and summary. I will leave a timestamp as usual in the comments in case you wish to skip or return to any specific sections. With that out of the way, let's dive in. Not many projects can boast an operational background as impressive as Cloudbrick and such rarely solid experience should be recognised and commended in this space. Any project or company, after all, is only as strong as the sum of its team members' ambitions and, more importantly, practical abilities. This is a fact all too often conveniently overlooked in our currently predominantly greed-driven blockchain industry. The Cloudbrick team have been on an impressive journey both before and during their token sale period and at this point in time have already successfully concluded two rounds of their pre-sale, selling out on both occasions remarkably quickly, with their approaching main sale scheduled to begin on October the 22nd. Company Background – Cybersecurity Veterans Cloudbrick are nothing less than cybersecurity veterans, with a track record of performance that speaks for itself. Emerging from strong foundations as a venture of a regional market-leading web security firm, Cloudbrick quickly excelled in the space and became a recognised market leader in their own field, catering primarily for the security needs of the previously underserved, small and medium business niche. Cloudbrick were in their prime and thrived as such. However, the Cloudbrick team had greater ambitions and felt their calling lay in providing a new generation of security to the digital community through the creation of their platform to bridge the gap between artificial intelligence and cybersecurity. Thus, following their consistently stellar operational performance, by late 2017 it was decided by the core executive Cloudbrick team to diverge from their mother company, Penta Security Systems Inc., and formed a company with a clear mission. Cloudbrick was born. Operations therefore became adjusted to following their newly defined mission and plans for Cloudbrick's reverse ICO became underway. Why conduct a reverse ICO? You might be curious as to why a company as well established as Cloudbrick would need to hold an ICO at all. Why not achieve their goals relying exclusively on funding from private sources, avoiding all the hassle and headaches of conducting a token sale? You might also possibly be wondering, what the heck is a reverse ICO? Whilst an unfortunate number of new projects have treated their token sale as though it is merely some kind of glorified fundraising event, there are deeper community building benefits which holding an ICO provides for genuinely driven, user-focused decentralized projects such as Cloudbrick. 
project's goals of enhanced AI-powered cybersecurity are linked intrinsically to community participation and launching a reverse ICO is enabling Cloudbrick to empower users to become the driving force behind their deep learning based security network. A network, after all, is only as strong as its participants are numerous and actively engaged. For a project so heavily reliant on community participation and keenly focused on user experience, a reverse ICO is the perfect community building mechanism, which at the same time allows for the distribution of their CLB utility token to interested new platform users. The fact that the token sale is a reverse ICO simply means that it is being conducted by an entity with a pre-established operation which they are looking to enhance through the opportunities provided by blockchain, and notably in the case of Cloudbrick also to enhance the blockchain space in return through providing their own powerful opportunities for enhanced security. Whatever the reason for any project to conduct an ICO however, the task isn't an easy one even for the most seasoned of veterans and a quality board of advisors is crucial if a project is to expect to achieve their goals effectively and ultimately to conduct a successful token sale. Titans Advising Titans Advisory Board However skilled a set of individuals at their craft, all teams of any size and calibre unavoidably lack skills or connections in certain areas. Conducting a successful ICO not only requires a skilled and dedicated project team, but also a range of purpose chosen advisors whose experience and expertise are vital resources for any serious project. To aid in their course, Cloudbrick have recruited an array of top-tier advisors with various valuable areas of expertise, including former CEO of Samsung Electronics China, Yung Ha Kim, and renowned chair professor in the Graduate School of International Affairs and Information Security at Dongguk University, Dr. Jae Woo Lee. Cloudbrick's advisors have been remarkably active in their quest to further Cloudbrick's cause, offering valuable insight, growth and networking opportunities where possible. Advisor and CEO of Goldford Fintech, Casper Wong, for example, attended the Unicom Blockchain Summit in Hong Kong to pitch Cloudbrick to investors during a private session. A strong board of advisors fosters a strong ICO, and in the case of Cloudbrick, we can see Titans advising Titans. Conferences and events Cloudbrick have been on such a tireless mission of spreading the word and networking that I thought the most appropriate way to display their journey is visually. Most of these updates and photos came directly from team members over the Cloudbrick Telegram group along the way. Consensus 2018, New York. The Cloudbrick team attended the annual Consensus Blockchain Technology Summit in New York, officially beginning their journey of networking and outreach. Tulip Conference, San Francisco. CSO Peter Cha pitched Cloudbrick's reverse ICO to attendees of Tulip Conference, next-gen blockchain and digital currencies event. one to one Tech Investment, Hong Kong. This event is geared mainly towards connecting tech companies with investors. Impressively, but not surprisingly, Cloudbrick's time slots were completely occupied. Speaking on Cloudbrick's short, medium and long-term goals, ambitions and challenges, Cloudbrick's COO, Joey Song, conducted an interview with one to one Tech Investment. Blockchain Alternative Investment Conference and Exhibition, London. CPO, Tai Kim, accompanied COO, Joey Song, who represented Cloudbrick during some valuable networking time at Bicom. The conference featured some of the crypto space's leading fund managers, alongside CEOs from successfully conducted ICO projects from 2017 and 2018. Blockchain Accelerate Conference, Seoul. COO TJ Young conducted a presentation about Cloudbrick to the attendees at the Blockchain Accelerate conference in Seoul. Huobi Carnival, Seoul. COO Joey and CSO Peter attended Huobi Exchange's first blockchain conference in Seoul named Huobi Carnival. Presale Stage 1. Incredibly, the first round of the Cloudbrick presale sold out in a jaw dropping 13 minutes. Tokenize it, Seoul. The Cloudbrick team attended the Tokenize It blockchain conference in Seoul, which carried the slogan, For More Flat Capitalism and Genuine Globalization. The event provided an excellent opportunity for networking, with various executives and representatives from the Chinese crypto market in attendance, including OK Blockchain, Capital, Bit4x and Huobi. On the second day of the event, CEO TJ Young pitched on behalf of Cloudbrick. Presale Stage 2 
Once again, amazingly, the second round of the pre-sale sold out in the first day, specifically 23 hours, the vast majority of which again in the first 30 minutes. Singapore Yacht Party, Bit4x and friends. Fortunately for the Tyler's team, it wasn't quite a case of all work and no play. In an astonishingly impressive event co-hosted by Bit4x Lab, Interblock Inc and Blue Chain Asset Management, over 25 crypto funds including Huobi, Foundation X, Node Capital and Tron Foundation attended a private yacht party held for the purposes of networking and fundraising for Cloudbrick. Consensus Singapore Amazingly, the team even had time for an extra session of networking at Consensus Singapore 2018. Main Crowd Sale The crowd sale is due to begin on the 22nd of October. Post ICO Upon the successful completion of the final stage of the ICO, Cloudbrick will begin the next phase in their quest to disrupt the fragmented and insular cybersecurity space with their next generation universal cybersecurity solution. At this point, the journey has only begun. Partnerships In the fledgling wild west of an industry that is the blockchain space, strategic partnerships are a crucial element of the healthy progression and expansion of any project. It is therefore impressive to see Cloudbrick continually striving to close partnership deals to mutually further their cause. Here is a snapshot of Cloudbrick's key partnerships. ICE Protocol On the 28th of August, Cloudbrick announced via their blog that they had signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, with ICE Protocol, offering comprehensive wallet security services for the project as part of their partnership. This also signalled Cloudbrick's desire for collaboration with further blockchain projects, exchanges and businesses for whom they are of course able to offer industry-leading specialised security services. Hacken Cloudbrick were presented with an interestingly mutually beneficial partnership opportunity with decentralised bug bounty platform and cybersecurity solution Hacken, which was announced on September the 5th. The two projects intend to use their collaborative efforts to share knowledge and experience from their own areas of expertise, enhancing both their own projects and the overall cybersecurity space in the process. Coin Manager Cloudbrick arranged another impressive partnership announced September the 6th, this time with Korea's biggest Ethereum wallet service provider, Coin Manager. Also a premier crypto asset management service, Coin Manager provides a range of advanced features for its 300,000 active users. Through this partnership, the two projects will collaborate and cooperate on security, including cryptocurrency, wallet and server security. Bit4x Lab and Bluechain Cloudbrick announced on September the 13th a particularly impressive partnership arrangement. Bit4x Lab, the investment arm of top and rapidly expanding exchange Bit4x, alongside Bluechain Asset Management, are partners and investors of Cloudbrick, who are to be brought aboard the Cloudbrick ship to assist with the project. Token sales Cloudbrick's token sales to date have been a remarkable spectacle in themselves. The team have successfully conducted two rounds of their pre-sale, reaching the allocated ETH hard cap on both occasions at an impressive rate. The approaching main sale is scheduled to begin on the 22nd of October and the details of each are as follows. Pre-sale stage 1 was due to be held on August the 23rd to September the 1st, however it sold out in a mere 15 minutes. Had a bonus of 15%, a cap of 2000 Ethereum and a bonus lockup period of 3 months. Pre-sale stage 2 was due to be held on September the 13th to September the 22nd, however again sold out this time in 23 hours. Had a bonus of 10%, a cap of 3000 Ethereum and a bonus lockup period of 3 months. Main sale. The main sale is due to be held on October the 22nd through to the 31st, so long as the hard cap isn't reached beforehand. The hard cap in this case is 5000 Ethereum, with no bonus and also no minimum spend requirements. Please be aware that if you are potentially contributing, you will need to conduct the KYC, which is currently available through the Cloudbrick website. Verdict and Summary Emerging from impressively strong foundations, Cloudbrick are nothing less than cybersecurity veterans, with a track record of recognised excellence and stellar performance that speaks for itself. Launching a reverse ICO is the mechanism enabling Cloudbrick to empower users to become the driving force behind their deep learning based cybersecurity network.
Cloudbrick's tireless mission of spreading the word and networking, approaching and during their token sale period, has seen the team attend a plethora of conferences and events, and attain an impressive array of strategic partnerships and investors. With Cloudbrick's consistently stellar performance, it's no surprise to me that both rounds of their pre-sale sold out jaw-droppingly quickly, both within the first day of being live. Cloudbrick are truly an exceptional project with an incredible team at the helm and an outstanding record of progress, which deserves to be recognised and commended. I wish Cloudbrick the best of luck with their upcoming main sale and will certainly be following with a keen eye as they progress on their journey to revolutionise the cybersecurity space. If you have any questions about Cloudbrick, I'd recommend joining their Telegram community where you can discuss anything Cloudbrick related or learn more at their website where you can also find their white paper for some deeper research. So I'll leave a link to both in the description. What do you guys think about Cloudbrick? Do you like the concept? Do you have any queries? Leave a comment and join the discussion. If you found my video useful or interesting, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel where I'm back with regular updates on some of the most interesting new blockchain projects which I come across during my mountains of ICO and crypto research.